Hey friends, what is up? Apparently I forgot to film an intro, so here's voiceover Melanie saying hi and starting off this video. As you saw by the title, we are doing what I ate this week and of course we're starting off this video and pretty much every day in this video with a nice old cup of coffee. If you caught that last clip, I do this thing similar to how I like to cook with my leftovers. I like to order a larger coffee and then use the other half of it that I don't finish and mix it with like cold brew the next day. Guys, look how nice i organized all of my yogurt this is like my yogurt making station and it brings me so much joy like look look at that Voila! She's so pretty, or I think she's so pretty, but that's my finished yogurt bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat this and listen to church. A little zoomed in. I tried to make it look a little bit prettier for you guys. Usually I just literally slap it together because I'm starving and like yogurt bowls are really, really easy to make. But um, I eat probably one, often two of these a day. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of yogurt. I don't know what happened, but after I moved home, yogurt was like my obsession. So, hmm. It is fruit cutting time, everyone. My favorite time ever. So, fruit cutting montage. What's my one mistake? Counting every day. No, I'm not okay. I just want to say, babe, I need a face. Doesn't matter what you say. Cause now that I don't have it, I only miss it. So it is now a little later in the day and I am heading over to the fridge because I got a little hungry. Basically, I am trying to intuitively eat so I don't really have eating times but I eat what looks good and when I'm hungry. So at this time, I had some asparagus and my dad had some fish stuff. I don't really remember what that was. And then I also just heated up some leftovers and that is what I ate. This is quite literally me every single night at midnight. I have to get the frozen fruit, the soy nut butter, and then <laughs> yogurt bowl. Yogurt bowl, of course. Yogurt bowl. This lighting is not doing me justice. <clears throat> we are having yogurt bowl number two. Oh my god, why is this so zoomed in? I also forgot, but like I've been baking a bunch of these like random things. You guys know I don't like use recipes, but I made these like banana chocolate chip muffins and so i eat like one of these every morning and every night but um pretty good pretty good stuff so i don't know if this is weird but i like to add like a muffin to my, my yogurt bowl i'm gonna do that except my yogurt bowl oh, my yogurt bowl over there is like overflowing but that's probably it for today so peace out while i go watch all till nine bye oh my god only you're the reason why i can feel those butterflies when i go to sleep at night Good morning guys, I apologize for that hot mess you just saw, but I was in a bit of a rush on this day. As you can see, I am packing up my yogurt to go in a little mason jar. I absolutely love how practical mason jars are. There's something about bringing your food on the go, it tastes way better. This morning, I made a little coconut yogurt parfait, as you can see in this mason jar, and I brought it over to the cafe. I also brought some fruit to go with it and one of those little muffin things I showed you earlier. I also ordered a latte. Hi, I'm with Mimi Madre. And Mi Padre and my mom and I are cooking. I'm helping her cut stuff to cook. Alexa, volume two. Thanks, girl. Um, so my mom's been cooking a lot and she makes like kind of oh kind of meal preppy thing. And so right now I'm cutting Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna cut these dates. Cutting dates literally suck, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> she bought the wrong one. It's okay. I wanna contribute. Dates are actually really good. And so she makes this really good date like roasted Brussels sprout. I'm gonna make some of that. And that is all. The rest of this will be montage. I like montage. I like it when you go like fast, slow, and 
Thank you. Nice music That's or exactly editing what or chopping fast. Cross my heart and Look at all of those dates I chopped. That took like an hour. Beautiful. These are the best. Oh, I forgot. Mm, 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 mm. And this is the recipe we're following. If you want to take a little, little screenshot, because it's from my mom's cookbook. And then I just made a little fruit bowl while I'm waiting. Look, it's in a nice little, like a Sunday bowl. I'm gonna go chat. Or I'm gonna eat this over here. Hello, so I have some watermelon. This is from when I um, chopped up a bunch of fruit yesterday. I have some watermelon. Thank goodness for Costco having watermelon year round because I eat it. Even when it's not watermelon season. But I realized in this video so far, I haven't talked that much. I'm probably doing like a lot of voiceovers and stuff and showing my meals. And I also realized that like I haven't exactly shown sit down meals, which I know talking in a food perspective, I mentioned this before that one of my goals was to have like sit down meals and stuff. But I think just for where I'm at in like my food journey and whatnot, I wanted to put a little like disclaimer in here and talk about it also. I've been having a lot of things going through my head with food, image, and whatnot so i just wanted to put this out there in the sense of making food videos i know that they can be very helpful for people but also be very harmful and i know that people who haven't struggled with food it's just like people like to watch food stuff because i don't know maybe recipe ideas and whatnot and in that sense i love watching these videos like before i had problems with food i would watch these just because i enjoyed watching them and i wanted new recipe ideas and whatnot and also it's just fun to watch for some reason but i do also understand how making any kind of like what i eat in a day week or anything around food can be kind of like triggering or and it goes both ways like i don't want to say anything like if you eat like this you're gonna look like me i'm not saying you should eat like this and i also don't want to over analyze what i'm eating which is why i would be afraid about making a lot of food videos i just don't want to like trigger anyone else trigger myself but i think what i've realized is and where i'm at right now is that i don't want to completely abandon the idea of talking about like food and body image and whatnot on my channel no matter how hard it gets or even if i'm like to a point where i think i'm like healthy and recovered i'm not just gonna ignore the fact that that had a huge role in my life like the idea of doing like maybe a what i eat in a week versus like a day because i really don't want it to be like comparing amounts of food or like types of food that we're eating but it's more in a sense of integrating sprinkling in these little like chat reminders about how food is meant to nurse your body it's okay to eat however you want to eat as long as it makes you feel good and you should not be comparing that to what other people are eating or consuming the purpose of these videos are just to give like food ideas and also hopefully like this will give you some encouragement if you haven't been feeling good about what you've been eating but also it serves as a reminder to really fuel your body and for the right reasons that being said, as you kind of see in the video, I kind of show you like ideas of the things I do eat a lot, things I've been liking, recipe ideas and whatnot. Definitely not the few pictures. I'm, oh my gosh, what am I saying? It's not the whole picture. A lot of times, I just forget to film it. I'll be out. Maybe my food's not even pretty, so or it's like the same yogurt bowl I've eaten like 10 times, so I won't film it. That doesn't mean I ate one meal in a day. It just means I only ate one thing that I'm showing on camera that looks nice or is worthwhile for you guys to see, and at least for me right now, so that I'm not like overanalyzing. But yeah. Yeah, that's my little update for now Your daily reminder to fill your body so that you are happy and healthy don't compare yourself to others food is fuel If you're not there yet, that's completely okay, but it all starts in here. Okay. That's all. Bye like the biggest sweet tooth ever i love i crave chocolate every single night i'm having some ice cream and some cake i'm so excited love it while i watch show more girls with my mom hello guys good morning what else would i be doing except for starting off the morning with some fresh fruit and another fruit cutting montage Okay, this does not look pretty. I don't know if they have this at other places, but I went to Sizzle and Crunch, which is like this. It's kind of like Vietnamese Chipotle. So good. I went there the other day, so I'm just going to eat some of my leftovers from that. I got a, a pork bowl. Oh my gosh, it's dark. You can't even see. I got a pork bowl, so I'm going to heat some of that up and eat it real quick because I have class.
Okay, so this is a bit later. I literally have no clue what I skipped to, but I'm eating some more leftover noodles. And then I skip forward again, apparently, and now I am cooking. For this dinner, I was making like this very creamy pasta. I don't usually make pasta unless I'm making some type of big meal or bringing it somewhere, but I was trying something a little bit new and I was actually using cream cheese as the base of this pasta. And let me tell you, it made it so creamy and delicious. I rarely ever make pasta, but guys, this looks so good. And look at the pretty veggies, too. And my spoon. Hee <laughs> Sexy. Ooh, okay, guys, this is so good. Got myself a nice little bowl. So pretty. I was gonna taste test it for you guys, but I already, I tried some and it's really good. I just wanted to sit here, take a moment, um, and encourage you to either challenge yourself or congratulate yourself. Taking a step, because I will admit, pasta, especially, honestly, any type of pasta, but especially, like, creamy pasta, like this, terrified me in the past. It was one of my biggest fear foods, and it still is kind of scary, which, you know, sounds really silly, but don't, don't even think about that, don't worry about that. I was challenged to, like, do, do like, more food videos, and I'm doing one with Philadelphia cream cheese and cream cheese kind of scary creamy pasta pretty scary but I, know, I think this is a big step and i'm really enjoying it adding cream cheese to pasta it's so good like this is better than the alfredos that i've had so good so this is my little reminder to you guys that life's too short to be afraid to eat things that you like and you shouldn't feel guilty for wanting them or for eating them and i still struggle with this a lot but i think baby steps are still steps and i'm proud of myself for making this oh gosh i'm sorry i literally suck at this type of video because i genuinely forgot that i was filming what i eat in a week so i didn't film anything that i ate today but um that doesn't really matter because i literally ate leftovers for breakfast lunch and dinner right now i'm actually cooking something i'm really not but oh also look my taylor swift cup oh my gosh I have taylor's version ah, i'm so excited oh my gosh imagine if i drank this much coffee actually i probably drink this much coffee i just like split it up into eight ounce cups so i think it's Okay, but um sidetrack. I am gonna be showing you guys how I make a little mug cake It's not exactly like how I do it because it's kind of different every time as I say I eyeball everything I'm gonna take you guys along as I make it also peep baking supplies because I'm really excited I'm filming a really fun baking video tomorrow. So aside from that. Sorry. I just talked so much It's because I neglected my camera the whole day. So then I was like, well shoot. I want to talk to you guys I miss you. So for this um, I feel like when I do mug cakes I usually do like a brownie one or like something chocolatey chocolate chip but i have this really nice looking honey crisp apple honey crisp apples are the best i want to make kind of like an apple not necessarily an apple pie but like i want there to be apple like cinnamon topping you get what i'm saying i don't know if i'm making any sense so we're gonna try to do that and it's all gonna be done in the microwave i'm gonna start off by chopping up my my apple and then i'll make the the apple topping Okay, so here we are making our little mug cake dessert. This is where I really let my creativity go and explore different mug cake recipes. I also highly recommend looking to Instagram if you want to follow recipes. I just love putting random stuff in a mug and microwaving it. I know it sounds dumb, but it's kind of like a little baby science experiment for me. Usually I make these some type of like chocolate flavor or like add a bunch of chocolate chips, but I guess today I was in a different mood and it was pretty good. Hi friends, I've been so bad at filming what I've been eating, but today I'm baking a bunch and obviously that requires its own video, but I whipped myself up a little salad, so here she is. I don't know if that's weird. I put like beans on it. These beans, these beans slap, by the way. I was obsessed with them during the summer, bringing them back, eating them, not just like as the bag. Sometimes I'd eat the whole bag. It was kind of bad because I would like overload on protein and then feel like I'm dying, but I just have like chicken, Brussels sprouts in there. You can't really see it, but also look at these cookies I just made oh my gosh you guys are gonna want to check out the video because i can already tell these are gonna slap look how pretty those are i'll check in later are you surprised guys i'm cutting fruit again i know it looks exactly the same but i swear this is new fruit cat by peso yeah my dad likes doja cat right now i'm just cooking with some leftover Pepsi U and adding like more veggies to it because i don't have that much left i do this a lot and i think i showed you guys this in a past video but i just add like more stuff to it alexa play all too well by taylor swift oh 
all right i'm now realizing this is probably the closest thing to cooking i've done in this video and that i do pretty regularly even though it's literally just stir frying vegetables but basically all i do is add broccoli a lot of times i'll add cabbage or carrots or just like anything else that's usually in pad cu anyways and then i stir fry it with some soy sauce all right this is my finished leftovers whatever it's called look it's just it's the um cool bowl i'm gonna sit here and watch some new girl my recent obsession so funny and i forgot to show you guys but these are the finished cookies i have a whole video up about them check it out mm, i think my tripod is broken from like maneuvering it so much this week Mm, obsessed with Thai food forever and always. I think this is gonna be it. What I eat in a week. I don't really know if it's been a week, but I think I have like a lot of footage. So yeah, thank you guys for coming along with me. As you can see, I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to food. I eat a lot of leftovers and I eat a lot of the same thing. So basically a lot of leftovers. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more food videos, stick around here. Check out my TikTok. I post a lot of like food recipe, cook with me stuff. Hopefully um, I will continue to talk about food, um, little updates on my relationship, and as well as encouragement for you guys on here. Remember to pull yourself and check in on yourself. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I know you won't believe, so come on, baby, be with me so happily.